What is going on, Ugg fam? I'm your girl, Kiki Soto, and welcome back to Urban Girl Gardening. What time is it? It's garlic time. What time is it? It's garlic time. It is garlic planting time. This is one of my favorite times of year. I tell you, living here in upstate New York, Zone 5B, fall is kind of sad because it's going into winter, and then here comes the snow, and we don't get as much garden time, you know? But when we plant our garlic, we know that we have something guaranteed to look forward to in the spring and summer and that is seeing the green come up off this these bulbs and watching them grow planting garlic is giving you hope for the next season yep that's right that's right i am so blessed to be able to plant garlic from my last harvest this garlic was harvested early July, and as you can see, it's still even on its stalk. This is hardneck garlic. I bought this garlic from a local farm, so I knew that it would grow well in my area, and it did tremendously well. I mean, I still have more than double this amount in the garage. This is so exciting. I am so excited. Let's get started. Let's get to planting garlic. But first, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Get on in here, y'all. Let's plant some garlic. Let's learn together, and let's grow together. Join the up fam. Oh, and turn on that notification bell too. All right, garlic time. Okay, so I have gone ahead and peeled all of my garlic except for this one here. And that's because I wanted to do it on camera to show you guys. So I am using just about all the garlic that I grew earlier this season, but I did want to try a new variety for me. And this one is called Music. First of all, I paid $3.25 for this. Yeah, see that? These are both hardneck varieties. I grow hardneck because it is what grows best in my area. Usually cold zones, I'm in 5B. Cooler zones grow mostly hardneck garlic, um, but actually we can grow both. I am gonna switch things up and I also bought a soft neck variety and I'm gonna grow some of this too. This one is called Enchilium Red. Both varieties, both soft neck and hard neck, they both need a long cold period. I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm taking the thick layer of paper off the side here. And you can see this is the stem. That's how you know you got hard neck, the stiff piece here. And just, let me get you guys in, just look how big these clothes are. Look at that. So then, after you peel, what I do is just go ahead and just pop it off of the stem. And look at that. So I'm only selecting the largest cloves. So in some of the other ones, there were some smaller ones like this, but I mean, look at that. Which one do you think is gonna give you the better head of garlic? Break these off and I drop them into a bowl. Let's talk about my bowl for a second and what exactly is in here. So in this bowl, I have a mixture of bacon soda and liquid seaweed, seaweed fertilizer. And this liquid seaweed fertilizer is a growth stimulator. So if you are in a cold zone and you have a limited amount of time to get your garlic in the ground, if you still haven't planted it, you can go ahead and soak your garlic in water just to kind of stimulate the growth a little bit, similar to how people put the bottoms of their veggies um, in a cup of water. You can definitely do that. I suggest that you do that. Soak for um, at least half an hour up to 24 hours, okay? The baking soda is an antifungal, antiseptic, so it'll protect the garlic from getting infected and possibly not germinating, not growing for me. It's not necessary, but that is just what works for me. So let's go ahead and get this garlic into the ground and then these other varieties, we will plant these last because I wanna know exactly where they are so that I can monitor how they do in my garden. <laughs> so garlic is a very heavy feeder and it needs to feed for a long time. So I went ahead and I used amended soil and my compost and added it to this bed. I put a nice thick layer of compost to the top. Um, I also added some bone meal, which has phosphorus and calcium, and that'll help with water uptake, and that'll also help with root growth. And yeah, so this bed is good to go. 
usually when we're growing I always tell you guys to never plant your seeds any deeper than twice the size of the seed well that's gonna be a little different for the garlic the garlic I'm gonna say put it in at least three times as long as your clove put it in three times deep and that is because we all know that our soil sinks we know that this garlic is going to be in the ground for a very long time we want to keep it protected from the elements as much as possible and it needs to get down there and it needs it needs to secure its roots and it needs space to grow so we're going to get this garlic at least three times the length of this clove of garlic we're going to bury it at least three times this size deep i hope that makes sense to you guys i always feel like i'm speaking in gibberish when i say it but that's the plan a good thing to know when you're planting your garlic is how the heck you're going to plant it <laughs> so you'll have the flat bottoms here and that is the area where your roots are going to come from this is the part you want to plant down into the ground when you get this pointy tip here that's where your green is going to come from okay that's going to be your garlic top so flat part down pointy up it's pointing up you also want to make sure that you keep as much paper on as you can not a whole bunch but you want to keep a layer of paper on and again that is to protect the garlic from the elements protect it from rotting protect it from too much rain from any disease that may be in your soil anything I already went ahead and made all my holes I used a bamboo stick I mean it's not that wide but at least gives me the depth and then the garlic clove will do the rest you can use a dibber you can use whatever you want you can use your finger do what you got to do let's just get the garlic in right so as for spacing I plant my garlic four inches apart that's it four inches all around that's it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this garlic in So I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and I'm gonna show you. So here's my garlic and here's the hole. Now you see how far down my finger went? We're gonna get this garlic all the way down there. Look, you can barely see it. And now you can see where my finger stops here. That's about three times the size of the garlic. And that's how far I want that garlic in there. Okay, let's do another one. I got another nice size here. I got another hole here. My finger. You see how dirty my finger came up? Now let's get this all the way in. And I want to be able to stick my finger in here and and the top of my finger be at soil level. That that's good depth. That's a good way to measure it if you don't mind walking around with a gardener's manicure for a while. All right, guys, I have over 100 cloves of garlic to plant, so I'm not going to keep you guys. I do have a more in-depth garlic planting video. It's already in my garlic playlist. You can go ahead and check that video out. And matter of fact, I'll link it down in the comments if you need more info on growing garlic. You can replant grocery store garlic. Um, garlic is not heavily sprayed and stuff like that, like let's say potatoes are um, for pesticides and whatnot, and to also stop it from sprouting. Garlic isn't one of those veggies that's sprayed. But in my area, in the store, it's actually pretty hard to find um, hard neck garlic, which grows which ironically grows best in my area, which is why I get it from the farm. So if you can support your local farms, please do that. All right, guys, we are all planted. Let me show you. I planted 182 cloves of garlic in this eight foot by four foot raised bed. How awesome is that? 182 cloves of garlic means 182 heads of garlic, which means I might be able to sell my own 
some garlic next season. Hope this video, at least you know, some things up a little bit and inspired you. My goal is always to inspire you guys to grow, grow, grow. And garlic is one of those things that's super easy. It's like set it and forget it, <laughs> just about. So get out there and do it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so, 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 so much more than you know. If you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and please, please, please hit the notification bell, okay? Make sure that you hit that bell so that you can get all my videos. That's what you subscribe for, ain't it? Learn with me, grow with me. Thank you so much for being here. I love y'all for real. Happy growing. Bye.